hats like a lot of my tires black and wrinkly okay so for this video i'm going to be showing you how to mount relocation brackets on an 88 straight axle so this is a very nice commodity to have if you were serious about drag racing it uh, has different adjustment for your lower control arms but if you're building a simple street car uh, you really don't need this this bracket is sufficient uh, you can make this work, you know, with a proper spring and a shock setup. Uh, but if you're looking to get serious into drag racing, this is what you want. Uh, this is going to be a better combo that uh, we run on Zach's car. Uh, it's got a one, two, five, sixty foot so far uh, with a stick shift. So if that's not proofing to put in, then I don't know why. But uh, if you do not need this, you do not have to watch this video. But I really do appreciate the use. But there's two ways to mount this. This is a race craft relocation bracket for 88 axle. Um, when you buy this kit, it's like 250 bucks. Um, it is very nicely made, uh, very quality as far as welding goes. Um, once again, they are not sponsoring this in any way. Uh, we're just telling you that this product does work very beautifully. It comes with a lot more hardware. Um, there's two ways to mount this. Um, you do have to modify this stop bracket a little bit to mount this and you would have to drill uh, holes in it to match up with the holes that are on here because only one hole is going to match up and you have you know hardware to you know mount it but i'm not using that method so i don't need that all i'm going to need is one bolt and the whole kit because what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to weld this to this bracket because i don't ever plan for it to come off uh, for the method I'm fixing to choose, you will need a cutting wheel, an angle grinder, a flap wheel, because you do have to prep the surface, a welder, and basic welding necessities for this. You have to modify this bracket. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull that camera off there and get you up close and personal to show you where to cut this uh, off with a flap wheel, or not a flap wheel, a cutting wheel. So in the instructions, it says that you have to cut off this back hump right here. So this is where the uh, the stock shock mount goes, uh, which I don't have on here, but there's a swell right here. So what you need is this back bracket to be flush and flat. So I'm gonna have to cut out this whole section right here. Now, if you look over here, if you got a Team Z bar, when you go to slide, oops, when you go to slide this bracket, down here, okay, this is gonna be too long and you won't be able to get it, you won't be able to uh, slide this hole to match up with this hole right here because this bar is gonna be in the way. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to cut a little bit off of here. I'm gonna mark it and show you as well as I'm gonna mark this area and show you how to cut all this off. Okay, so I took the angle grinder and uh, cutting wheel and I just kind of outlined where the line needs to go. It just needs to go right above that hole because when you slide this bracket over, all you have to do is match the holes. This this line doesn't have to be perfect, but this is what you got to cut out. So get it focused. So come across the top of the hole, okay? And all you're trying to do is get this swell or this hump right out here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave two plates, or actually three plates, one, two, and three, for my bracket to slide over, and then I'm gonna hammer it down in place, put the bolt through it, and then uh, that'll give me the lineup, and then I can just weld it all the way around and mount it to it. Or, if you wanna use the stock hardware, you'll have to drill holes because none of these holes are gonna line up with it, but you'll drill a few holes all the way around it and uh, end up putting it in there. Now remember, I gotta trim the bracket to put um, it over the top of this Team Z bar. So I'm going to trim it short, that way it doesn't reach, and then be done. So just to give you a visual, this Team Z bar won't let this bracket slide all the way down. Because the hole I need is about right there. And the hole I got to match it with is here. So I have to cut this off about right there so it slide down far enough to match the hole. So when it's all said and done, both brackets should look like this. You should have one long side on one side, which would be the outside. We hacked off the inside of this bracket so it didn't come into contact with the uh, Team Z brace. 
and this has just been cut off so if you see on the inside there's a channel right here that this will slide over and eventually meet now it's gonna be a tight fit so kind of try to get your corner started it's easier to start at the back Beat it on there. Okay, once you got it bottomed out there, start beating on top of it until we get the holes lined up. Okay, after a little bit of grinding on the uh, top of the edges, anyways, I got the holes to line up. Uh, the way you want it is that you don't want too much tension on this bolt. You want this bolt to kind of freely come in and out by hand. So don't, if you have to beat it in, Grind a little more, bit more until you got it smooth where you can manipulate the bolt with your hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack it in place. It's square on this axle next to the other one. So I'm gonna leave this bolt in so it doesn't move. Tack it in place. And then uh, when I'm done welding, um, I'll take the bolt out and then we should be good. Okay, so I got it all welded in place. And as you can see from uh, this bolt, I can stick it through. It all freely moves by hand. It means it's in the correct position. If you're looking to run a radio under your car, this is a must because this gives you the correct bar angle uh, for making a radial tire work on that combo. But I got one on that side and one on this side. Can I give you a look? What it looks like, but the axle's upside down at the moment. Um, but this is a, uh, a vetted combo. If you're looking to run a radial tire to uh, give you proper separation and uh, a good weight transfer uh, for the to make the radial tire combo work. So it does work with the, uh, the slick and all. And it's just uh, this is a very good uh, accessory for running a radial tire. So radial tire will trap a little bit faster than a uh, slick tire just because of the design and uh, rotational mass. But yeah, so we have a braced axle and we have relocation brackets. Now I just gotta get some guts in it. Okay, just to kind of recap, this is a 8.8 housing out of a uh, GT car. This is a Team Z uh, bottom brace um, that we have welded in place. Uh, the front of this, we got the UPR uh, front braces uh, that go from the diff all the way to the outer tubes. These are race craft uh, relocation brackets for 88 housing. So uh, they have instructions on the website, but you know, like how to mount them and stuff. But this video was just to show you um, in person because there was no uh, pictures on there. But um, next video that we're going to have is we're going to throw some guts in this and, uh, and try to make it, you know, throw it back in the car. So uh, I got some goodies coming from here. Um, I have it all ordered, they're on the way. So the next video you'll see me in, we will have hopefully a solid axle put together.